What's up, ice fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. We are out on the backwaters of the Mississippi River, and we're gonna catch some panfish today, I hope. I got Brian with me, and I got Dan the Man, the owner of Shocker Custom Rods, and we are out here jigging for some big bluegills. Who knows, maybe we'll even get into some crappies. I know I say that every episode, and we never end up doing it, but you never know. So we're getting a little bit of a late start today. Brian and I actually went to a different bay early this morning and it sucked. We weren't really marking any fish. Schools of shad on the bottom and that was it. So we met up with Dan and uh, we came out to this other backwater bay and we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna start popping some holes here and uh, dropping down. Got the long rods, got the tickle sticks. Brian's got the, what do you call that thing? Pan, pan fish popper. Might even get some plastics out today. See how the bite is. Stay tuned, donkey hunting starts right now. There we go. Coming from a long ways up. That's a good one. <clears throat> Dandy right there. You bet. There he is. Decent little leader size. There he is. It feels like a good one. Oh yeah. Not huge, but probably seven and a half. There he is. There's another one. I got three and one's a real good one. Oh, with the plastic? He swallowed her. Probably a seven. Feels all right. Here we go. There, that feels good. Oh yeah, the tank there. Oh yeah, more him. I'll be getting a call here on Monday. Oh. Oh, that feels good. That's dandy. Oh, yeah. That is a dandy there. Beautiful Mississippi River backwater. We'll go. Feels all right. Maybe not. There we go. Oh, 
another decent one. There he is. That was a big red mark. This should be a good fish. Oh, he's digging. Oh, yeah. Oh, largey. You want to eat this one, Dan? <laughs> you betcha. He is a digging fool. Keeper. Ooh, that feels decent. Stay pinned, bud. Stay old. You betcha. Freaking stud. Yeah. Look at that. I'm guessing nine inches all day. And he's freaking hefty. <laughs> That's a good one, right there. <laughs> Ooh, what you fighting for, bud? You're a decent one. Heck yeah, eight incher. Yes, that one feels decent. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, another freaking stud. striper a little white bass little cutie there he is feels big feels decent yeah Here's something. Bit the minnow head. <laughs> Big bluegill. Freaking dandy. What is it? Brian caught today. Look at that chunk. Nice crap. These things are just hammering. 
Anyways, that's a wrap, folks. We're gonna wrap it up here and head out. I don't know how long we've been here, four hours, maybe? Something like that. So Dan's got a limit, I got a limit. Brian's really close to a limit, so we're just kinda letting him finish out. And uh, we're gonna go back and have a bush latte and clean some fish. Plastics were working decent today. Um, not as well for me as they were for Dan, but uh, me and Brian were pounding through the wax worms. We went through quite a few today. Cut a lot of little fish, but uh, it was worth it because we got some dandies. I bet the average bluegill kept today was eight and a half inches, if I had to guess. And the average crappie kept <laughs> 14. Uh, Dan kept a couple crappies, I think. He said his were pretty decent. But yeah, Brian's is a monster. For around here anyways, for me, because I don't see that many big crappies. Anyways, if you have not yet subscribed to Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors, go ahead and do that right now. Hit the bell to so get notified every time we put out a new video. Clobber that thumbs up button. Luke Reeser signing off. Always remember, you're never too fat to fish.